Mitt Romney's latest endorsement, not from one powerful person, it's from nearly 500 of America's finest. Military leaders throwing their support behind the Republican nominee in this full page ad. So why does the military's top brass think he would do a better job? Joining us right now from Minneapolis this morning, Pete Hegseth. He's a veteran of the war in Iraq and the CEO of Concerned Veterans for America. Pete, uh, that ad we show uh, up on the screen, nearly 500 generals and admirals have endorsed Mitt Romney. And if we take a look at how many military endorsements Mitt Romney has, 496, the president, the current commander in chief, that's not a misprint, five. Explain those, uh, the wide disparity there. Sure. You know, I, I'm not top brass, uh, but I can tell you at every level, you're looking for decisive, clear eyed leadership. And I think that's why these 496 generals and admirals, it's, it's not the campaign, uh, took out the money to run this ad to say we need that kind of leadership. We need unapologetic leadership in the world. Uh, we, sh we should be leading, not bowing. Uh, and we need to be willing to call the enemy what it is. Think about it. If you're, if you're a, a general or an admiral and you're dealing with administration right now that whitewashes the threat we are seeing from radical Islamists, you want a commander in chief that will call it like it is, that will say, hey, we were attacked in Libya. It wasn't an Internet video. It's not overseas contingency operations. We're fighting radical Islamists who seek our destruction. Generals and admirals understand this war is not over. We have enemies that still seek our destruction. They want a commander in chief that will call it like it is. Do you think the margin is similar with active duty folks? Rank and file? It, well, well, it's not 500 to 5. That's, a, <laughs> that's a, quite a disparity. But we have seen polls recently for military members 2 to 1, Romney for Obama. Uh, and I think that's generally the case. I think the members of the military, they're going to serve under either president, Republican or Democrat, sure. no matter what. But I think they've seen in this commander in chief sort of a lack of that decisive leadership. We want to end wars rather than be successful in them. Right. And I think you see that in the polls. And I think, Pete, I've, I've talked to some active duty military. They, they're upset that the president of the United States initially went on that apology tour. And they're really yeah. upset yeah. in the last couple of months. He's, he apologized for our guys, you know, the murder of four of our Americans in Benghazi uh, by saying, hey, we're really sorry about that video, folks. Think about that. Uh, apologizing versus unabashed leadership. Mitt Romney wrote a book called No Apologies. I think they, they, they're seeing a guy there who's going to stand behind him. I use a small unit example. I look to my company commander, battalion commander, brigade commander. You want to know that th they're going to give you clear guidance and ultimately they're going to have your back. They're not going to make excuses, equivocate, or apologize if you make a mistake or something doesn't go as planned. I think members of the military want to see that from their commander in chief. I think they, they believe they'll see that from Mitt Romney. All right. Uh, Captain Pete Hegseth, thank you very much for reporting for duty today on Fox and Friends, sir. Thank you. <laughs>